Ah, there it is. All right. All right, all right. Here we are. It's five o'clock. Welcome to Watch Me Work with me and the title is you. I'm SLP. We are we have been doing this show for like 12 years. We started in the, in the lobby of the public theater and now we are still supported by the public theater as well as being supported by Howl Round, who uh, are helping us Zoom to you so we can do it from our own spots wherever we happen to be. Um, this is, as you saw in the email, in the invite email today, this is going to be the last watch we work before we take a our September hiatus, which might extend a little bit into October, but um, uh, this is going to be our last one for, for about a month. So uh, be ready with your questions. And uh, what we do in Watch Me Work is we work together for 20 minutes, and then I take your questions about your creative process, and we talk about your creative process. Notice I'm saying the word your. <laughs> uh, we, we take your questions about your creative process, and uh, we talk about your process, and we talk about your work. And if you should have a question after our 20 minutes of work time together, you can ask Lolly. Lolly's going to tell you how to get in touch. So go, Lolly. Yeah, if you have a question and you're here in the Zoom with us, you can use the raise your hand function, which is in the reactions tab, likely at the bottom of your screen. If you have any trouble finding that, um, you can just message me in the chat and I will help you out. Um, if you're watching a live stream on HowlRound, you can ask questions uh, by tweeting or um, commenting at the Public Theater's uh, Twitter or Instagram accounts or uh, the Watch Me Works Twitter account, which is at Watch Me Work SLP with the hashtag HowlRound. That's hashtag H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. So that's how you'll ask your questions. All right, all right, all right. So here we go. Uh, we're going to work for 20 minutes and then we'll talk. Okay. Beep.
Okay, here we are. Question time. Feel free to raise your hand. Oh, is that a is that a actual hand raise? Oh, is that celebratory? Oh, there we go. Okay, Timothy. Hey y'all. Hey, hey Timothy. Sophie. How you doing? How you doing? Good to see you, Timothy. You too. You too. Uh, not a question per se, um, but I just wanted to say that. I took your advice from last week and made a list of things I wanted to write about and one of them hit. So there you go. <laughs> I mean, hit in terms of like caught my interest enough to- I know what you mean. <laughs> right. That's great so, news. I'm so happy so, for you. So thank you for that. That was the whole point of bringing it up was to say thank you for that. And I also uh, rewrote a pilot for a, a TV thing, so. Wasn't a bad week. You too, bro. That's really great. And so, so you know, are there, do you have like in your mind as we go into a little bit of a hiatus, you know, through mm -hmm. September, do you have in your mind or written down some things that you can do to keep yourself going? You're on a roll. You're on a good roll. Yeah, well, um, I, I, I do. I mean, the short answer is yes. Um, you know, I I just you know I started off just kind of free writing, and uh, you know I'll probably stay with that until I have an idea where to actually start scripting. So there you go, fantastic, good, 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 good. All right, congratulations. Thank you, and thank you for the help. Well, thank you. Thanks for being here, man. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> sure. Because that is, you know, 95% of the answer. Yeah, cool. Jeff. Well done. Good job, bro. Good job. All right. All right. Who's on a roll? Anybody else? Who's on a roll? Who's on a roll? Hey, Lou. Since you asked, I'm on a roll. I'm pastrami yeah. on a roll. I just want to tell you. <laughs> oh, me on a roll. <laughs> Are you really pushed on a roll? No. I really am. I really am. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess I, I, maybe I could formulate a question, but yeah, I'm, I'm making myself laugh. Oh, I am enjoying my work. Like I'm like hitting on things I didn't know where in my head. I'm just flowing, flowing, flowing. I don't know if it's just, you know, the thought I have had lately is just, I'm so tired of being miserable from this process. <laughs> I'm like so exhausted by it. There you go. You know, that it's like, but that's been over a couple weeks now. Like, it's like been really interesting. I mean, I'm sure, you know, I'm not sure of anything. I hope I don't get miserable again, but it's been, um, it's been flowing. And I think actually, you know, so I can maybe ask a quick question about the flow of it all, which is just like, I don't totally know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. So maybe I might want to ask about just that thing, you know, like somehow I've, before I kind of you talk a lot about planning and, and organizing and outlining, which obviously craft wise, I get the value of that endlessly, but for whatever reason where I am right now, like it's counter to my vibes. <laughs> like right. I just want to flow and like be surprised. And so I guess I just wonder about like the balance of flow versus plan. Mm -hmm. And I also think a lot about, you know, this idea which we've talked about like don't bullshit yourself right so like I, I don't think I'm bullshitting myself like I'm, I'm on a, like it's like I'm working you know mm -hmm. so I'm not just like playing without a goal or play like playing just to, to avoid the thing I feel like I'm in the thing and it's a sense of play and surprise mm -hmm. and how long do I do that till I maybe start to mold it more I don't know so that's the question I, well, I, I mean I think uh, I mean you can also, let's see how, you know, there's plan versus flow, or you can plan to flow. Mm. You know, like, what if it's the same? What if it's all part of the everything? Mm. Just, you know, just floating it. It's, it's more of a question, but, and maybe it is. And maybe like we're saying to Timothy, you know, showing up is, let's just, let's be bold. Showing up is like 
a hundred percent of the answer. Let's just say that, you know, cause, cause that's what we want to do. That's why, I mean, the form of this show, it's a show. The form of this show called watch me work is that we show up and we work together. Mm. That's it. We're showing up and we're working together. And so the idea is that we will become accustomed to showing up and working together even when we're not together, even on Tuesday, for example. You know what I'm saying? At, at Tuesday at noon. Oh my gosh, we'll show up and we'll work together. Do you see? So I'm mm. I'm I'm encouraging, or we're all I can think together, encouraging the habit of showing up and working together. Mm. Which we will continue that habit when it's Tuesday or when it's Thursday or when it's Friday at 420. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, uh, so what if it's all about showing up? Mm, that feels and freeing working and working. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and if it's, if you're planning, maybe the plan is just to show up. I'm just going to show up at my desk or my work area, whatever, whatever that means to you. And I'm going to do my work for a certain amount of time. Mm. And that's what it is. Because I think the work begins to, you know, come together or wants to, you know, that we're, so we're taking our cues from the work. Um, you, you know, the work is coming together. The work is turning into some, you know, and the work is saying, now it's time to have a reading. Now it's time to, to put it on paper. Now it's time to write an outline, right? Isn't it? You know, come on, I want to be an outline now. You know, the work is, is, is doing, doing the work. That really resonates. Yeah. Because the work feels the work feels like it wants to flow right now, to your point. Like I feel like it's telling me to flow. Then there you go. Right. Yeah. Right. And and yeah, and you're keeping well, it sounds like you're keeping your eye on the bullshit part where you're like, no, I don't want to flow because I don't want to do the work. Well, and you're keeping your eye on that. You're being mm-hmm. self-aware enough to know when you're just kidding yourself. You know what I mean? Or you're mm-hmm. procrastinating, you're doing sometimes we do research. So we don't have to do the work, you know, because research is easy and I don't feel like doing the work. Sometimes we do the work because we don't want to do research because that's hard, you know, so we, we, we're, we're aware, we're conscious, right? Yes. We are like, you have to be conscious to be in a relationship. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. you know, you, know, you mm-hmm. have a spouse, you guys go out on dates. If I we do, we yeah. do. You have a nice spouse, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean? We yeah. Become- to be in it you know yeah I'm in a relationship with my work it feels like it's got you know like maybe like a marriage it's gotten deeper over time and that's only happened because of what I've been learning here and you know what we talk what you talk about because it's deepening over time just like you said so yeah it's cool and I will say this on Tuesday at noon I think what would SLP do and I sit down with my timer I think of you I conjure this room I think of it that that's that's why we do this mm-hmm, i do it's it's changed the, everything so thank you so much Ooh, i got i got i got <laughs> so pleased that's why we do this mm-hmm. we're practicing just being present because being present is is is, is kind of hard sometimes you know it's hard if you don't practice it's it's tricky it's hard mm-hmm. just to know how to show up you know well we're, this is what we're practicing Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yay. Thank you, Lou. Uh, We have Melania up next. Hey, Susan. Hey, girl. How you doing? Fine. You know, I am listening to what you were talking to, Lou, and I think that you answered what I was wondering. uh, Because, yes, my question was going to be, what is to have success Uh in work? No, it's like and listening to you mm-hmm. right now. I'm seeing that maybe the word success has a very big connotation about results and is the showing up. Is mm-hmm. and is the I am thinking about is the listening also to the to the work and to the spirit. No, like the next step comes when we show up. I right. think it's the, the, the the next step is the step. This the present step. Is the right. yeah. I am thinking about that. To me, I I want to 
to share with you. This is such a blessing. You, you your, all your thoughts, your suggestions, uh, the, the way you listen to us, mm. the, your kindness, your compassion, how your work, our work, um, this community is mm. such a gift to me. So, Oops. yes, I was going to talk uh, to us about success, and maybe you can share with me mm -hmm. if you have some thoughts, but I believe that sometimes what happens to me is that I get anxious mm -hmm. about, I don't know exactly what, but to do something, I don't know what would, that thing would be, but sometimes I see that I sit down and I feel these things inside of me, like, you have to do more or it's not that it's uh, this has no you know why are you doing this this kind of thoughts that i share with you several times um i know that i i need to embrace this situation and show up and keep doing my my right. work that right. i know right Is there anything that you can suggest when when this anxious thoughts appear in the middle of the world. Yeah, I think that's a great question. And um, I was uh, reading, I have these hobbies, you know, um, and one is like, you know, like reading and listening to podcasts and reading books about things like neuroplasticity or oh, yeah. you know, the dopamine centers in the brain and re the reward systems, you know, like dopamine, like you get dopamine hits from, from, prizes and outside stimuli, but you also have chemicals in your body that do it just naturally. Mm. So it's not something that you have to always expect coming from the outside. Right. Mm -hmm. And this yeah. is a lay person talking, you know, I'm just reading, I'm just someone who reads books on the side, but, but what I've learned recently is that when we have, when we enter states of work, which require a high levels of focus and concentration, Right. Yeah. Our, our uh, chemicals start to happen in our brain that are that create some stress. So we wonder, why is it hard to work? You know, mm -hmm. that's the chemicals that are encouraging you to focus. Right. Yeah. Now, what helps keep those chemicals down so that you won't quit yeah. working and you can maintain your focus are the dopamine things, dopamine levels, treat presence that you can give yourself. So that's why a timer is so fun because you win. If you set your timer for 10 minutes and you sit at your desk and you work for 10 minutes, guess what? Reward. You just, <laughs> right? Or you set it for five minutes. You just won. You hit it again. Five more minutes. So winning success becomes something that you are controlling. You're not waiting for the such and such wonderful corporation out there to give you a prize or to give you a grant or to give you a residency or to let your show be happening on Netflix or whatever. I mean, you know, prizes, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're giving yourself prizes. Hooray. Prizes that are not food and are not shopping people. Right? <laughs> oh, when I finish this, I'm going to go shopping. No, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, yeah. Okay. That's all you need. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's why a timer is such good. It's a sound in your ear right? Yeah. That and flashing light or whatever you have. So I'm encouraging you to, to, to create successes that you, uh, create prizes, if you will, rewards yeah. that you can give yourself. Okay. Yeah. So like we were talking about Lou showing up, if you just show up sometimes, and sometimes a day is so hard and the stress levels are so hard and it's so hard to focus that you show up and all you can do is sit there at your desk for five minutes. Yeah. Right. The timer goes off. Guess what? You won. You wow. just you won. And I tell you, the more you do that, if you do it every day, mm -hmm. you're going to start to develop the ability to sit there longer, manage those chemicals in your brain, concentrate longer, reward yourself every five minutes. If you have to take a little reward every five minutes, great. And you're going to put the time in, which is going to get the work done, which is going to accomplish other goals for you hmm. you say yeah I, I like this idea of controlling having yeah in my success that gives yeah, yeah. And the way for the outside right so we're not we're not counting on some outside thing 
to give us something. I mean, I'm not saying we shouldn't count on things to give us, you know, I'm just saying that in terms of the work, um, and that's different from saying the work is its own reward, because that's like, I don't know, that's, uh, I never quite understood that. I, I like her. I like a timer, you know, I like a something like good job, you know. Um, it's great. Okay. Yes, so, thank you. So that, that, that can help. And again, um, you know, you just have to, for, for those of us who people go, oh, don't do that. Or that's a hobby or whatever. We talked about this a while, mm-hmm. you know, a couple of yeah. you know, it's like, you have to just talk to the fucking hand with these people. <laughs> you know what I mean, run your race, you know, and, and know that if you got naysayers in your life, know that, you know, so do I. It doesn't come with, you know, the naysayers don't shut up once you win a prize or two or whatever. Mm-mm, no, no. It's just like they're there so that you can go, huh, huh, I got yeah. my together. You know what I mean? And that's that's what they're there. You can see them as just a, a, a setup for you to display to yourself who you really are. Wow. You see? I like it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. This is great. Thank you. And do you have a good a good game plan for your next month? You have a good game plan? Yes, 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 yes. yes. I, you know, my daughters are beginning school, so we are with one in high school, the other one in middle school, the other one in elementary. So it's an adventure. But I'm going to sit down. I'm going to do the work, and I have my things. So yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Good. I want to meet you. I will miss you. Well, well, I'll, I'll be here. I'll just be like running, you know, being, I'm going to be everywhere at once next month. No, yeah, I know. And as, as Lou said, and we all know, this is something that goes beyond this moment. This moment is extremely important and I love it. But it's something that goes with me everywhere good. I go. Yes. Good. good. So, yes. Very good. Awesome. Good. Okay. Thanks, thank Milan. No, thank you, Susan. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Okay, we have Eugenia or Eugenia up next. I'm not sure which one it is. Thank you. Thank you so much for what you just said. I really needed to hear that. Oh, the whole gift just showing up. Boy, I get, I start to beat myself up mm. because, um, you know, I feel like I should be, I should be, I should be doing whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm working on, it's a personal project, but it, it's, I'm planning to put it out anyway. Uh, and it's about family. Mm-hmm. And I was try, trying to figure out the best way for, for how I work to create it. And part of the, the, the work, I, I, I'm also a photographer. Mm. So I'm looking to use photographs that I've created and old fo- family photographs as well, as I tell the story of my parents and how they came together. Um, and I talk about the fact that they came from two different worlds mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, the, um, and what they had to go through in order to be somewhere down the line for, for uh, family members to accept their marriage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and as I'm writing, I decided that I would do short stories about them together and then separately and then go from there, I'm beginning to, to understand the amount of anxiety hmm. that lived in our home. Wow. I could never put a finger on it. Huh. Every time I would say something to, to someone and they would, they, they would kind of just shut me down and say, you live in a happy home. Huh. And so as I'm doing this, I'm, I'm beginning to see the anxiety, the loneliness, and how members try to control one another. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm confused or, about how that presents itself on the page. Mm-hmm. Is there a way that um, I need to describe it? Or do I just talk about the individual's actions mm-hmm. from day to day. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
I, I would, I would, that's a, that's a, that's a big, several big questions in one, Eugenia. My gut says talk about the individual's actions, you know, but I, I would say in the, are you on the first draft so far? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say um, do whatever, actually. Let's okay. take out, the should. let's take out the should, because you said that was a word for you. Yeah. The, should. the shoulds. Yeah. Who cares? Oh, should go over there. Should can come in later. Okay. Get it down any way you can. How about that? Okay. How about, and we're we're going to do showing up. We're going to do showing up. We're going to do maybe uh, it's a bit because there it's a big subject. It seems like not to be, not to, you know, make it overwhelming. It's not, uh, but how about uh, their short stories? How many short stories are there? Do you think? Um, I think I'd like to have 20. Great. Do you know the titles of them? Um, not offhand. I know the title of one. Great. Okay. Get yourself some index cards. This is these are three by five index cards. Okay. The reason why I'm suggesting this is because they're big. It sounds like there's a lot going on, right? And a yeah. lot of like, whoa, how do I do this? So I often say, like, when you go caving, spelunking, you know, when you go like cave diving, we have a we use a, a cord, a rope. Okay. Okay. So so I want to give you something manageable to to help you um, get the stuff on the page and relax at the same time. And if you can get yourself 20 index cards like this and you write the title of each story, even if you don't know it, just make it up. Pretend you know it. Have some fun. Yeah, I know the title. That's going to be called Tabarizuram. Great. Okay. Right. And this one's going to be called Champion of Right? And she write, she write the titles on each card. And on the back, you write what it's about. This is the time when Champion of the Rapid is broken. And in the end of the story, Champion of the Rapid Right? Okay. So you have basically the whole story on the back and the front of a card, right? And you do that with 20 cards. And then you just kind of clip them together. I don't know. I like these kinds of clips. Yeah, I've got those. You got one of those. Okay. And, and if you want to go to the store, make yourself a, a treat, go to the store and buy a color, them in a color that you like. They come in all kinds of cool colors, right? And you clip them together. And you just kind of walk around with them in your pocketbook or in your tote bag or in your, you know, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And you can go to a coffee shop and just flip through them. Okay. You know, it's going to help you like, it's a big story. It might help you make it a little more just manageable, right? Yeah, I can't ask questions. My parents have both passed away. Mm -hmm. so I can't get into what happened here, what happened there, what was, how did you feel? I, I have to go back and think about certain times. Right, right, exactly. And also you're going to have to use your imagination your imagination, right? You are going to, it's, 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 I mean, I'm sorry that they're past, but I'm also glad because you're going to tell the story the way you see it mm. with respect to the subjects right. that are involved. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully with love, with care, but the way you see it, you know, so it doesn't have to jive with what they remember was going on. It's, it's, you know, you know what I'm saying? So there's a freedom in that. There's also a responsibility and, and you're, you're up to the challenge, but just let's get it manageable for the first, you know, go through. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. You. And, and give, give each story a title. Yeah. It can be fun. Yes. Give each story a title and a subject, like what it's about, what happens in this short story. That'll be fun. And then you basically have your whole book, like, you know, in 20, 20 index cards. Oh, wow. Thanks. <laughs> the spaces. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks. Good question. Thank you. We have Rebecca up next and then Nancy after that. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Susan. How are you? Well, I'm well. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. How's it going? 
Um, it's going, it's going well. I, I was on retreat last week, um, silent retreat. Um, so uh, I was here occasionally in my thoughts <laughs> while I was um, sitting and, and walking. Um, but I made a commitment to myself to send the agent letter. So before right. they turned off the internet and took our phones away, I sent the agent letter. Um, <laughs> we have yeah. to give up our phones. They don't rest yeah. out of our clammy little paws. Um, <laughs> and, um, and then sort of like day five or six, it was like, oh, this is where cotton goes. So the cotton and cotton gin part of the story. And it's like, yay, I hope I remember that when I get home. And I did. <laughs> And um, and it was and worked on it today, and it it may not be in quite the right place, but it's got a place. So that Fantastic. makes me very happy. And just, in terms of the agents, um, you know the the core of this of the manuscript is a ten about a ten page essay, personal essay I wrote in two thousand eight that actually won a prize, uh -huh. and it. I, I, I remember thinking, so it won a prize then, why wouldn't somebody want to read it now? So, um, so that was, um, that was very encouraging that to actually remember that I had done this thing and that this is, this is the fruit of that initial seed. Um, mm -hmm. So, so those all feel like breakthroughs and I'm grateful for um I'm grateful for all the years where I didn't say a word and I'm grateful now that, you know that I'm asking questions in this in this setting um, I'm so proud of you thank you because you're it sounds like you, you know you're 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 I mean you're expecting good things Rebecca and, yeah. and you also and it's funny how respect uh, expecting good things moves us to remember something good that happened in the past that could actually help us in the future, you know? And that's what I mean about you're opening yourself up to all the wonderful things that are going on in your life. Yeah, I, I, I think that's true. Um, it's funny because the, um, the, it was a contest at, with the Rubin Museum and Ovid wow. Magazine. Okay. Which okay. died, of course. <laughs> and I managed to capture, you know, the essay before it went out of business. Um, and, and it was announced in like August when I was on retreat. And that was the thing that came up. It was like, oh, I couldn't go to the reading because I didn't know about it until after it was over when wow. I turned on my email because, of course. Wow. The internet. <laughs> so. Wow. Yeah. And, and that made me laugh. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for all those, those, uh, those beautiful, uh, meta, uh, um, meditations that you've been doing. Oh, you're welcome. I, I've been doing appreciative joy for everybody every day. Yeah. So. And we've been doing it back to you. See, it's, it's good. Yes. Unconditional. I don't, you know, it has to be unconditional. Can't have any strings attached. <laughs> no, 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 no strings, baby. Strings. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I just wanted to share that and um, yeah, and for the next, the next month, I'm gonna just keep, um, I now have a whole manuscript to re-edit, which is great fun. Yes. Um, yeah. And that's probably gonna take the next month to. Right on, very good, good game plan. Very yeah. good, very good. All right, all right, all right. That's fantastic news. When, when you send out, so I'm just wondering, mm -hmm. So I sent out one agent letter and I'm thinking, I've seen where it's like, you know, when you're submitting a manuscript, you can only submit it until they tell you no. But I don't okay. think it's the same with agents that I can just, I mean, basically it's a business question. It's like, can I just do my selling? <laughs> and, uh, I, I, think, I think you're free. Yeah. And I think you can contact, I mean, I, you know, I, I mean, I recently hired a, a a press agent, and I talked to many of them at the same time. Yeah, you know, I interviewed many, um, 
And uh, I wasn't interviewing one and waiting and thinking, and, you know, I was just doing them one after another. So I think you can, I think you can solicit many agents um, and see where it lands. And if three are interested, then you can go deeper with those three, you know, mm-hmm. and it's because it's you, you get to choose. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, th- I think that's appropriate. From, from when I look at, you know, the business side mm-hmm. in like publishers marketplace, it okay. seems like people must be doing that, but I, I've never, you know, really mm-hmm. known. So that, that's helpful. Yeah. I, I, and I think that if it were appropriate to only submit to one agent at a time, then they would, they would say so, yeah. you know what I mean? But I think, I think you're just seeing who's interested and you're just tossing it out there. You know, mm-hmm. it's like a, it's like a, uh, like a, a dating, you know, dating, like, dating apps, like, you know, what I mean? Who's yeah. <laughs> you know, you'll see who, who, who contacts you, you know, but, but I think it's really important that you are doing your gratitude practice and you're expecting good things. Yes. I am doing yeah. my, both things. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm very happy for you. Very happy for you. Very good. Yay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Rebecca. Um, it looks like we have Nancy up next. Oh, hey, Nancy. Hey, hi. Thank you for being the post where I can tether my horse. Um, very needed today. I tend to be facetious a lot in my life, and huh. that's how I've managed to not, you know, to stay afloat and it's often in my right and sometimes it's really good in my writing because I can be but I think funny however mm-hmm. when it comes to stuff that's get yeah, Eugenia but this is different this is not parents and sister stuff and she's quite alive and I really have a lot to say and I'm figuring it out so much every day as we get older and older And I've always kind of covered it up because I was working on something and made jokes about things so that it wouldn't be too penetrating. Where and when do you allow yourself to do that? So that, you know, I'm first trying to get to my emotional truth, but I'm also, the critic is thinking, oh Christ, what if she here's this, how is she going to do, this is just going to make the relationship harder and harder. If, and uh, I mean, I could make it other characters. I could make it, I could fictionalize it, but I I really, there's such a strong story that has to do with our particular dynamic and, and being raised the way we were around motion pictures, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm learning, I'm getting it really clearly now, but I'm so afraid of her vulnerability, even though she's the older, tougher sister. So, you know, what do you do when you really need to like Mary, Mary Rogers apparently just did it, you know, she's, she's Mary Rogers and all those people are dead. Right. Uh, Right. Yeah. All those people are dead. So it, it, uh, in in some, including Mary yeah. Rogers, so um, Did you she know. Die? Oh, okay. I well, if if I read it, maybe maybe yes, yes, I believe she did because J- didn't Jesse Green finish the? Yeah, I thought I thought they co-did it, and I didn't. Uh, really yes, they did, gone. but I think she passed away and asked him to take gotcha. it to the. If I'm wrong, sorry, I read the article really fast. Um, yeah, okay. um, but, but, but if, but, but to, to your question, Nancy, um, it's uh, how do I tell the story today? Right. Yeah. With with everything. The, yes. With everything as it is now. Right. Right. And I think you do it that way. You see what I'm saying? So you write you write the story how you can today. And if you write the story, you're going to be totally truthful and maybe I'll hurt people's feelings. OK, I wrote it as I can today. Now, what do I go, what am I going to do with this today? I'm not going to send it to a publisher. I'm going to put it away for a while. You see what I mean? You 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 got to write it get how it you down. Feel. you get it down. So you have it. it well, it's still raw. It's not exactly. even right. It's really raw. Yeah. 
Right, exactly. Write it as you need to write it because you're not writing. I mean, I would suggest you write it and keep it on your computer or notepad or whatever and not push send and send it to your sister. Okay, because that would create a complication that you don't need. We don't want to create we don't want to create unnecessary drama. Drama is great. (laughs) Unnecessary drama is unnecessary, right? Right. Right. So you want to create, I mean, whether it's a short story or a novel or whatever, you want to create the story that you need, necessary, and then you decide what to do with it. If it's too raw and you're reading it, you're like, whoa, this is exactly what I needed to say, but I don't need it to say it to her. So you put it down in a drawer somewhere, but at least you've done your work. See what I mean? The next draft, you might say, well, maybe I can, I can fictionalize it totally. And write a fictionalized version of something that would be more appropriate because now I want to get it out into the marketplace where my sister or whomever might read it. Do you know? Yeah. 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 So I would would write it like you need to write it. Okay. Because it it will lead you to where you need to go. You know, at least you'll be able to sit and read it and say, again, like we say, I did my work. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great question. Thank you. Mm. It is 5.59. It is 5.59. (laughs) Oh, it's 5.59. Do you want to leave us on this? hiatus with anything uh any nuggets of wisdom slp no nuggets of wisdom lord have mercy um (laughs) no just what we always say you know there's great power in showing up and doing your work it is like nothing else it is the you know yeah it is the it is the 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 power that we were born to exercise, you know, and that only we can get in the way of. And I think sometimes so much of the world conspires to knock us off our power, you know, to sing our song. That's what we're here for. We're here to sing in the choir. So sing people, you know, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm going to be singing. That's all I got to say. It's six o'clock, yo. It's six so, o'clock. Thank yeah, you all so much. Um, you will receive virtual updates from me when we're back up and at it again. Um, but in the meantime, I will carry everyone's warmth and energy with me. Likewise. <laughs> Sometime in October, I think we'll, I'll be not traveling so much. I'll be back. Wonderful. Hopefully that will be it. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you all for showing up. Really, really appreciate you. Okay. Bye. Yeah.